Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. I am That Diva Mama, and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you can be brought up to date on all of the new things I'm gonna be posting. So we're gonna learn how to make truly authentic Yayo Tribe fermented rice water. That's right, authentic ingredients that you can buy right here in the USA and make your own fermented rice water. I know we have a lot of people who will tell you how to make it. We have a lot of people who are telling you to put your citrus fruit in there. They do a little bit more than just that. So here are some of the ingredients that we're gonna be using. We have a stewing clay pot because they make their um, water in a stewing pot that's made out of clay. I'm out of pomelo, and that's okay because we can use the grapefruit oil, black seed oil, hishu wu, rice bran, and fleece flour. These are the ingredients that we're going to be using today to make an authentic version of the Yayo rice water for your hair and you can save some of that rice water and use it for your face so the first thing that i'm going to do is take my clay pot and Okay, so this has had a chance to stew for five minutes. And so I'm just gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool all the way down. Once, as you can see, it's still boiling clay pots get hot. That's why you don't really need to cook really high or really long. So I'm gonna let this cool all the way down. I'm going to be using my own um, shampoo and conditioner. And right now my favorite is by Elvive. Um, but, so what I'm gonna do is once it cools down, I'm gonna put it on my hair and let it sit for an hour and then wash my hair as usual. Um, if you're not using a separate conditioner and shampoo, you can save half of this for your rinse and use the other half for your shampooing, whatever you prefer. Um, just make sure that this is not hot because you don't want to get burned. It is extremely hot. So you can expect that it's going to take a while. So while I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'm going to go ahead and use some aloe vera to detangle my hair. Okay, so my pot is glazed. Um, but if you have a dry pot in particular, you need to let it soak. Uh, I'm gonna let mine soak because with the clay pot, you do want it to um, have moisture before you place it on a, heat, a heating source. So I'm gonna let mine, um, the water fill up, and then we're gonna let it sit in the water for 20 minutes. That way we know that it's trapped some moisture in it and we can put it on the stove. This in particular is a stewing clay pot and you need to be careful. Not all clay pots can be used on a stove top. Some of them are just for baking. Some of them are not for cooking. This one is called a stewing, S-T-E-W-I-N-G, a stewing clay pot. It was made in Russia, so I had to purchase it internationally. Um, and I can put a link to that if you ask, if you want, down below. And um, so we're gonna let it fill up, and then we'll come back when we're ready to make our brew. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. <sighs> I'm 
take off my stove cover. And on the small aisle, I'm going to put my um, pot. Okay, so this is my stewing pot that I ordered made in Russia. Um, the purchase information will be in the description box below and it's sitting on my stove. This is my fermented rice water. Um, it's almost five or six days old. I'm gonna pour it in my pot. So I don't want my pot to heat up too quickly. So I'm gonna start it off on low. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my fleece root. Can you see that? Fleece root. I ordered it on Amazon and the purchase information is gonna be below. does have a smell to it but it's not an unpleasant scent so just so you can see what it looks like and in some of the Asian rice waters you'll see um, some of this may be broken up a little bit in the pot or you know they can cook it whole whatever suits your fancy it's really 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 easy to just break into pieces so since I'm not using pomelo um, fruit today so it's real simple to use That it comes in. So the bag is resealable. little um, stirring spoons I got a few years ago at Kroger they came in a set of three they're silicone at the top I think I paid $6.99 for the set of three I like them I use it to get out my my petroleum jelly gel or whatever Okay, so my pot, my stove is warm, and I'm just going to gradually turn the heat up on my stewing pot. You want to make sure that you don't overheat it so that it won't break. So just gradually until you understand the heat base of the clay pot, just gradually increase your heat. So already in here, we have the fleece root. And once this starts to boil, it's going to boil for five minutes. So we haven't reached boiling temperature yet. And I'm just going to give that um, a stir, the fleeced flower root a stir. I 
I want to distribute the nutrients in the fleece flour throughout the rice water. And since I'm uh, not using pomelo fruit skin, I'm using the oils um, instead of the pomelo because I didn't get a chance to go back to the store and get another one. But the grapeseed oil is a derivative and it is a lot easier, but I'm not gonna cook it in, in the boiling stage. I'm gonna wait till after it boils and we'll add it at the end. And the same with the um, hishuwu, once we hit boiling, then I'll add the hishuwu, Hush, hishuwu, can't get it out. So my pot is warmer and I'm going to go ahead and turn the temperature up a little bit. But I also want to remind you that it's not a good idea to place a clay pot on open flames. Um, you need to read the instructions on your pot before using it. Number one, making sure that it's a stewing pot and not a baking pot. And then number two, not directly on an open flame unless you know how to gradually uh, progress your clay pot while you're using it for cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up a little bit so I can start approaching the boiling point. Let me just let you get a... So we also have our, our rice bran. The he shuwu, you can uh, actually take it internally. I see it's starting to smoke so the temperature is rising toward boiling and again I don't want to shatter my pot so I'll just take my time patiently with it
Okay, so it's reached the boiling temperature and I'm gonna let it boil for five minutes. Kind of smells like I'm cooking a morning breakfast. Like oatmeal or cream of wheat.